Hey everyone, it's Elise and you are watching the Ready to Stir channel where I bring you plus size fashion, travel, and lifestyle content both on here and on my blog, readytostir.com. <laughs> I am back with another plus size at Disney World review. You may have already watched my review from 2019, but a lot has changed about my situation and I wanted to give you an update. I have gone two times to Disney World in the past three months. Uh, so I'm filming this right now, it's January and I went again in November. So I wanted to give you kind of an update my mobility has changed a little bit, so that's the biggest thing. Uh, I have an overextended uh, muscle in my knee joint, and uh, my mobility is just not what it used to be. So I am now using a scooter to get around Disney, and I thought that that would be a good opportunity to share that experience and what it has been like for me as a person with more limited mobility walking, well, I guess not walking around Disney. So let's go ahead and dive in. So for my November visit, I rented a scooter at Disney. Uh, we went to Epcot really early, like when they opened, because the, the risk you run when you rent one of the electric vehicles from Disney is that they could run out. So we went really early and we ended up being fine. The nice thing is that if you do park hop, you cannot take the vehicle in between parks, but you can take your receipt that shows that you paid for it and get another scooter and you just have to pay, pay the deposit again. So currently, as of 2023, that rate is $70 a day if you rent at Disney and there's a $20 deposit that gets returned to you. So I didn't have to charge my scooter throughout the day when I did it that way because I spent two thirds of the day at Epcot and then one third of the day at Magic Kingdom and we park hopped. So I got a fresh newly charged scooter once I got to Magic Kingdom, but definitely going in between parks when you have lim limited mobility is really tough. A friend of mine pushed me in a wheelchair and it was hard on her. Uh, so that's why I decided on my next trip to go ahead and rent a portable scooter from an outside company. So I saw people when I was there in November with scooters from Buena Vista Rentals. So I went ahead and looked that up and it was only $30 a day with a minimum requirement of three days. So since I knew that I was doing Disney on one day and Disney Springs the next day, I went ahead and I did that for $30 a day. There is a discount it currently if you pick it up from their warehouse, which is what I did knowing that I was going to get an SUV rental car. Uh, and we were able to fit two scooters in the back of an SUV. Now it was not easy, but it is possible. Uh, so that was really good if you plan on driving yourself to the park this is a good option they also will deliver scooters to a bunch of hotels to the front of the park and to a bunch of uh, the resorts and things like that the biggest difference is if you rent the scooter at Disney the park you have to at least get yourself to guest services if you do the Buena Vista rental and you are able to get the scooter delivered to your resort or hotel or go pick it up at their warehouse you are able to then ride on in uh, you don't even have to worry about walking um, from the parking lot to the park so that's the biggest difference um, and then we encountered another big difference but we'll get to that later so on this visit we started at Animal Kingdom and we mainly did that because on my last visit in November I had done Epcot and Hollywood Studios and Magic Kingdom and on this visit my parents were there and I really thought that my dad in particular would really like Animal Kingdom and he did uh, so I definitely wanted to do that with them but as soon as we got in the parking lot we were noticing something with my scooter just like wasn't right uh, so that was a little bit annoying but we called them and they said oh just push the battery in it's fine so it, it started to work and we thought okay no big problem no big deal my mom was also using a scooter because she had a knee replacement so our plan was to go in the park and get there we didn't have to get there early so we got there around 11 30 which is really like peak time to get to animal kingdom go earlier especially if you're planning on renting a scooter at disney definitely go earlier um that was just a busy time to arrive it was really hectic and it just like created a lot of unnecessary, unnecessary stress and we missed the Lion King show. So we ended up saying, okay, we're gonna do the safari, but let's do Gorilla Falls first because we could just walk through there. 
Kate, where are we? I think I'll be able to get that after the show. We are at Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom. Look at Jane back there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're in Gorilla Falls <laughs> in Animal Kingdom. And we're going to go on the safari. We're going to see so many different things here at Animal Kingdom. And I'm on my little scooter here. And it's really easy to get around when you have a scooter. So highly recommend if you have any mobility issues, just go for it. Just do the scooter, y'all. And everything's okay. You know, I'm feeling really like I'm an inconvenience to other people, which is something that, you know, you really have to work through in your own head when you are new to having limited mobility. So, you know, I'm feeling like an inconvenience. So I'm just trying to get out of people's way. And then all of a sudden my scooter stops working. Completely stops working right in the middle of Gorilla Falls. And I am like, oh my God, like, what am I going to do? So we're trying to, you know, take the battery in and out, push it, do this. And it ends up being that even to push it, a person has to be sitting in the chair. Otherwise the chair collapses. So God bless my girlfriend. She pushed me uphill out of Gorilla Falls in this scooter on, um, in neutral. And I called the, I called Buena Vista Rentals and I was like, okay, y'all have got to get out here and give me a replacement scooter. So I will say that they did come within the hour. They replaced it. They took that whole scooter away, brought me a new one, and I had no issues for the rest of the day. So um, now if I had used a Disney scooter, obviously I could have just contacted a cast member and got a new scooter. So this was definitely an extra step. Uh, so I guess that's really up to personal preference. <laughs> It was annoying for sure that it stopped working in the middle and that I had to wait for someone to come fix it. But, um, and it was also embarrassing because people were just like all continuing to move around you. And it's just like, it was a lot, a lot of feelings, but they did fix it pretty quick. So I'm not, I don't have anything bad to say about them because their response time was quick. Um, and I told him we were going on the safari and that we'd meet up with him after. And we told him exactly where our location was. And when we got off the safari, there he was. So that was great. So that's the scooter situation and let's get that out of the way and get into the fun so the safari was the main reason that i wanted to go to animal kingdom i thought it was amazing it's just so cool to be able to see the animals just really walking around and roaming free and we got to see giraffes like eating right out of the trees right in front of us i had done the safari in 2019 but i feel like on this trip i got to see the animals a lot more up close what i really like about the safari is it is just a large bench seat uh so it was my dad me and my girlfriend i don't know how the person filming the footage ended up being in the middle but i just didn't want to take the joy away from the two animal lovers so if you see them in my footage that's why uh but yeah so it was just the three of us and they didn't try to squeeze a bunch of people in there and we all fit comfortably uh as three kind of like larger bodied people so it is definitely fat friendly to go on the safari it's so worth it for me i've never been on a real safari so that's the closest to africa i've gotten and you know what i loved it and i enjoyed it so i highly recommend going on the safari and i didn't take my scooter into that ride of course because it was broken down but my mom did and they let you take it about two-thirds of the way and then they park it for you and then you just have to walk the rest and it isn't a very far walk so just uh putting that out there that if you're in a scooter you can ride it almost all the way to when you get on the safari car <laughs> All right, we just got off Kilimanjaro Safari. What did you think, my animal lover? That was amazing. Amazing. We got to see giraffes, lions, hippos, rhinos, zebras, lions, lions, baby goats, oh baby and baby, baby goats. goats. Yeah, it was no so good. And hippos. And hippos. Yeah. Oh my god, amazing. <laughs> While we were there, we were already in the Africa area. We got to see the dancers. That was really cool. Of course, Sabrina had to get in there and show off her dance moves. She was great. We had so much fun. Um, we were able to watch it really from an up close view right from the scooter. So I loved that. And then we walked through and we saw the Pandora area. I have heard that that ride uh, is not fat friendly. So I haven't even tried it. Uh, but again, if I had more time and I was there completely for the whole day and I didn't have any scooters issues I would definitely try that ride for y'all but I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna fit uh, for reference I'm a size 20 22 uh, sometimes 24 it just depends um, and so for me I just was like I'm not gonna waste my time trying to wait in that line so we didn't so really the only ride that we went on was the safari and then we walked through Gorilla Falls 
and then it was time to leave to go to Magic Kingdom. So like I said, the benefit of having the scooter from Buena Vista Rentals was that we were able to just scoot on to the parking lot, put the scooter in our car and drive over to Magic Kingdom. Since Sabrina's a pass holder, our parking just transferred right over. So that was really nice. And we got to Magic Kingdom and you can take your scooter on the monorail. So there's a cast member there. They put out a ramp and you just go on. And when you get off, they're there with the ramp. The ramps are always there. A cast member is always there. It is what makes Disney one of the most accessible parks, really one of the most accessible parks out there. Definitely one of the most accessible theme parks um, that in the U.S. for sure. And I, I don't know of any um, around the world that are more accessible. But to me, just knowing that that was there made me feel a lot less self-conscious about having to, it didn't feel like an inconvenience because they were prepared. Uh, so that was really nice that they had that, um, that they had that ramp there uh, and it's really easy to get on and off. We got there right about when it was getting dark and we had our reservation at Be Our Guest. And I've never been to Be Our Guest restaurant. I've only been to one of the sit down restaurants and that was at Epcot in November. And I was really excited because I'd heard Be Our Guest is like one of the best restaurants at Disney. And I really loved it. I felt like the experience, like even, even as soon as you like check in, they're like, oh, the beast will seat you now. Like it really felt like you were like at the beast house, which like I was really into. I felt like the food matched the ambiance. It is expensive it's like 70 something dollars but to me it was worth it I got steak it's like a prefix meal so you have to get like one uh, appetizer one entree and one dessert definitely get the dessert trio and try the, the grace up it is delicious um, so yeah it was really good and the beast does come out and like greet his guests which I thought was really cool to see throughout the dinner he would come out and like wave uh, so we love that and definitely if you're a big Beauty and the Beast fan like you have to go to be our guest it is hard to get a reservation there so make sure you do it in the app do it as far in advance as you can um, we actually also saw someone get pr proposed to there which was just like again so magical and so cute we did not get to eat in the West Wing but they have the rose there and every time the petals fall you get to see like the picture of the prince like transform into the beast like when all the petals fall so that was really cool um but we didn't get to sit in there you don't really get to request where you sit but maybe there's a way to do that i'm not really sure but for us we sat in like the big main dining room and there was like fake snow falling it was just totally like a whole atmosphere and to me the food matched the whole vibe matched the experience and again it's a must do if you're a beauty and the beast fan we're at our second stop, second stop, second park of the day. We're at Magic Kingdom. We were able to take our portable scooters over here from Animal Kingdom. It was kind of an uh, experience, but we're here. We had so much fun. We got to eat at Be Our Guest and see uh, the fireworks show. It was good. So, um, yeah, I loved it. And I'm magical, and so are you. So after Be Our Guest, then we decided to go on the Haunted Mansion ride. I had gone on the Haunted Mansion ride before uh, and I really liked even just waiting in the line. There's a lot of cool, fun, different things to do. Uh, so I really liked, um, I really liked that ride last time. So we went ahead and did that again. One thing that I will say and give Haunted Mansion credit for is you can take your scooter all the way up till you get on that moving walkway and then you get in the, in the car for the ride. Um, I don't know what you call it. I guess it's a car. Um, so, and they ask you like, are you able to do a few steps? And my mom actually asked if they could slow it down for her and they did. So again, if you have limited mobility and you wanna go on this ride, take your scooter through the entire queue and then you just get off, get on the ride. They will they can slow the walkway down for you. And then when you get off the ride, they have moved your scooter for you to the end, to the exit. So to me, that is like such good service. For, I know for me with my mobility right now and this tear in my knee, like I cannot not stand for a long period of time so it's not just walking it's also standing so for me it was hugely convenient uh, to be to know that the line was wide enough for me to take my scooter through so highly recommend and that that ride I went on in November with Sabrina who's also plus size and we sat comfortably right next to each other I went on it this time with my girlfriend who's smaller than Sabrina but still plus size and again we could sit next to each other so I will make sure we pop a little photo here so you can see what that ride looks like highly recommend uh, even if you're not a fan of the movie or you haven't seen the movie it is a really fun ride to go on so highly recommend that one 
so the next thing that we did was we went from Haunted Mansion and we wanted to get ready for that big light show at the end. Uh, we wanted to get good seats because it can fill up really easily and knowing that we were going to be seated on the scooters rather than standing, we really wanted to be as close to the front as possible. So when we were there in January, the light show started, the fireworks show started at 8.15. So I think that we started walking that way around 7.15. Uh, my dad stopped at Hall of Presidents. He was into that, but the rest of us just sat there and um it's really crowded so if you do not like crowds definitely don't even try to be in the mix try to be further back because in the front you are going to be surrounded by people and people were really just not conscious of the fact that we were there and we had these electric vehicles they were just really trying to get by and get the best view so it was a little bit frustrating it caused a lot of like oh just yeah if you don't like crowds watch from a different spot but it was worth it because the view was great and even though there was standing someone standing in front of me I jokingly said to my mom I am gonna ask that guy to airdrop me his videos because I'm watching the show through his phone because he's standing right in front of me and she literally went and asked him for his videos and he airdropped them to me and they are better than mine because he had a better view but so yeah so it was fun and again my dad was like I don't get it what's such a big deal about it and it's like when you watch it you see it is really magical and this was all about um the 50th anniversary so i really wanted to see it this is my first time seeing the 50th anniversary show and yeah it just really shows you like you know everything that the parks have done over the years and all the movies and all the magic and yeah it's magical and tinkerbell going across the whole show like on again it's so cool you just have to see it and and it will really make the whole visit as far as I'm concerned. So even if you're park hopping, I highly recommend at least doing that part of your day at Magic Kingdom so you can see it. And then after that, we went on a few other rides. We went on uh, the Buzz Lightyear ride where you get to shoot the aliens and uh, it was cold. I bought a sweatshirt. <laughs> I, that was like very distinct because I was not expecting it to be as uh, cold there as it was in January. But yeah, just be prepared. It's Florida and we were sweating during the middle of the day. And then by the evening, we were all a little chilly. So um, yeah, that was that was pretty much our day there. The next day we walked around Disney Springs um, and we had fun there. We got to go definitely hi highly recommend if you have the chance to go to Disney Springs. I think the shops, at the big Disney store at Disney Springs is like one of the best places to shop but I actually have a lot more about shopping for Disney stuff and one of the best places where you can do it so you're gonna want to watch my next video because it's all about shopping for Disney stuff and one of the best places one of the secret spots to get all the Disney goods so come back come watch that video and until next time I'll see you later Bye.